For some perspective on China's anti-smoking campaign, I spoke earlier with Dr. Rob Crane with Ohio State University. He's clinical professor of family medicine. I think China is just beginning to change the way they look at smoking. 50 years ago in the U.S., uh, half of men smoked, very similar to what it is in China today. But I think uh, President Xi Jinping has made a real effort to look forward to a healthier China and make some steps that uh, change the way the culture accepts or doesn't accept smoking. Now, I remember when uh, Beijing came out with its ban on smoking in public places. Uh, I spoke to someone with the WTO who said the law could actually be a model for other big cities. Uh, they, they were very impressed. And there are other cities in China that have banned smoking in public places. But I was reading recently where Hangzhou ran into some opposition when they tried to enact a strong smoking ban in public places. Can you talk to us about the pushback? Uh, people who are addicted to smoking kind of deny what it does to other people. I mean, it's one thing to smoke yourself, of course. It's another thing entirely to expose your toxic fumes, your dead fumes, to innocent people, especially in China, women and children. But that's changing. I think people are really understanding that better. Uh, but I think getting past the industry itself and the natural resistance of people who are addicted to change their behaviors. Yeah, well, let's talk about that. Uh, tobacco is big business. Uh, it's big business here in the United States and in China. It's a $172 billion a year industry in China. Uh, that's tough to go up against, isn't it? You bet. I mean, China makes 40% of all cigarettes manufactured in the entire world. And it used to be that uh, China Tobacco actually controlled a lot of the efforts to regulate itself. It was the fox controlling the hen house, as it were. But even that has begun to morph. Uh, you see now that there's more emphasis on health. I think the president and the General Assembly, they see that there is a, an important future for China that involves healthy people and that the tobacco industry is an industry of the past. And sometimes you have to give up that habit to move forward. Well, you said it's uh, of the past, but let's talk about the present. I mean, you've got 300 million people smoking. Um, that includes more than half of all adult men. Those are alarming numbers. How do, you, how do you turn that back? Well, we did it in the U.S. Again, it's a matter of changing the culture. I mean, China has embraced the culture of smoking for a long time. It will take a while to push back on that. You start with raising the prices on cigarettes. You make it a social approbation to smoke in public. You make it illegal to smoke in public. And I think mostly you begin to see that the health issues have to be weighed against the, the uh, profits being made by the industry. Uh, here in the United States, we also attacked the issue of kids being able to buy cigarettes. China has to take that step yet, but I think that's an important step that has to be undertaken. There is a rise in, in, in female smokers. Uh, I want to also get your sense about the e-cigarette market in China, because that's something that's really kind of uh, burgeoning here in the United States and elsewhere. Uh, give me your thoughts on those two. Yeah, I think that's a really important question. Uh, obviously, you can't drop down the male cigarette smoking if you just make it up by having women come and smoke. As more and more women are in the workforce, I think they're exposed more to this culture of smoking. And I think China, as well as the United States, has to be careful about this problem of just backfilling the reduction in males with women. Same thing with kids. E-cigarettes in the United States have become a real problem. We reduced smoking among kids from about one-third of kids down to about 10% of kids. But the e-cigarettes have just taken off and are going to, because they're not as effective delivery of nicotine, make kids move towards cigarettes. So it's a problem that has to be addressed, and hopefully China will take the bull by the horns, as it were, and change things. Dr. Crane, thanks so much for your insights. Thank you very much.